my name is Stefan. I am one of the developers of the Just Trains Railjet Advanced. And this is the first of a series of videos where I am going to show you a few of the features uh, of this particular train. In this video we'll be looking at the startup procedure. There's two ways of doing this. You can either do it the realistic way, just like the real train drivers, or you can do a quick startup which um, allows you to just jump in and go. So it really depends whether you want to drive this train in a realistic manner or just like a game. So we start off with um, the startup procedure of the local itself, which is right in front of us here, and we'll do the realistic startup procedure first. So press one to get into the cab. As you can see, we are facing backwards. Now this is actually correct. The Toros Loco has two different cabs, cab one and cab two. If you look up, look here, we are in cab one. Uh, all train drivers always have to go into cab one first. Uh, on the rail track trains, this usually means walking into the cab that uh, faces backwards. Use the arrow keys to turn around. You come to this panel here. Now we switch on the battery, wait a few seconds for the battery to connect. There we are. And the other thing we do here is to select the pantograph and we select number one. Just go back and then we'll uh, switch cabs with control plus. There we are. So now we're pointing into the right uh, direction. So the next thing you need to do is press W once to put the reverser into uh, the first notch. Wait uh, for the system to boot and you'll hear two beeping noises when that is complete. There we are. Now put the reverser again by pressing W all the way forward. There we are. So now we have initialized the software. Now we need to tell the train where it is. Uh, this train comes with a lot of safety systems and other features and they will only work if you, if you tell the train in what country you're actually operating in. So we are in Germany. Uh, as you can see here, the train things were in Austria, but default it's always set to Austria. Uh, press 8, 6, and then you have the different countries here. Depending on the type of train, you'll have more or less than this. This is the standard setting. There are certain trains that actually have more selection than this. Use the arrow keys to select DB and press Enter. You will get a warning. This warning tells you that you need to put the reverser into the neutral position. So I'm going to show you this here. Press S twice. There we are. And then W again twice. And that's initiated. Right. Next, we raise the pantograph. Check that you get a readout here and wait till this pink symbol has gone blue. Okay, main switch on. Right, we're now connected to the overhead wires and we're getting electricity from there. Uh, so the last thing we need to do is set up everything for the drive. So again, turn around by pressing the arrow keys. As you can see, this back panel is a bit different. Um, first, select the light mode. For the rail jet, it's always this one here, the second one to the right. Then here you have, uh, it's called the Federspeichenbremse. It's sort of like a parking brake. When the red light is on, it's on. We need to release that, press the green button. And then here you select the door operating mode. I'm gonna open the doors now. Uh, if you pull German uh, carriages, put this to DB. Uh, if you pull Austrian carriages, put it to ÖBB. Uh, the rail jet is an Austrian train, so it will always have to be on ÖBB. Finally, we have this panel here. You will only need this if you want to drive in a simple mode. 
uh, by default all safety systems are always engaged and they will always check what you're doing if you don't want that if you just want to drive around enjoy the scenery then pull um, this circuit breaker here this will switch off the CIFA and then here you can switch off LCP and PZB right you hear a clicking noise this indicates that the doors have been closed but they're not locked you will not be able to drive away until the doors have been locked to do this move this lever here in the upright position and that's it we're now ready to go um, you can see some warning lights flashing here this is because I've switched on the safety systems you would normally not be allowed to drive like this make sure the local brake is released one last thing uh, you would now usually press A to accelerate D to decelerate but uh, on this train there's one last safety feature and that is that this um, uh, lever here is locked so you can't move it by mistake so to unlock it press A plus E at the same time there we go now if you uh, press D you can go back to zero and the train will just roll along A again you accelerate if you press D to zero and then D again you go back into the locked position and again you will have to press A plus E to unlock and that is it uh, that is the realistic startup procedure and we'll do the same thing again now uh, in the driving trailer right here we are uh, back in the station this time we are in Switzerland in Rorschach and uh, I'm going to show you how to start up the cab car or driving trailer whichever you want to call it uh, so we we'll do that now so press 1 let's open that I'm going to switch on the lights All right so we can see a bit better it's fairly similar to the local but there are a few differences so once again we'll turn around uh, and switch on the battery just wait till you get uh, the battery on message on the top right for the second time there we are again W press once put the reverser forward wait till this symbol here has gone blue there we are and all the way forward once again we need to tell the train where we are this is a touch screen now so uh, press on OBB we are in Switzerland so press SBB OK once again we get the yellow warning so just put the reverser two notches back by pressing S twice and then W twice now whilst we're here we can actually also select the light mode which is this one here so we'll just press that uh, it's the bottom one for the rail jet and OK and that's that we can now raise the pantograph because we make sure you have a readout here and wait till this has gone blue now because we've told the train that we're in Switzerland it automatically raises the correct pantograph in Switzerland the trains have a completely different system a different pantograph and this particular train is certified for driving in Switzerland so if we jump to the back to the loco you'll see there is a separate pantograph which is used in Switzerland it will only work here so once we cross the border we we'll lower this change the setting to OBB and then raise the pantograph and it will automatically raise this one okay we connect it to the overhead wires so once again a couple of things to do um, the Federspeichenbremse is here now so just press the green button again and there's an additional brake here again sort of like a parking brake which we have to disengage um, local brake once again make sure it's fully released 
and if you don't like being checked by all kinds of systems just do this and for the CIFA there's no button you just use control shift s for each of these things there is actually uh, a keystroke uh, in the manual we have a table and uh, it'll take you it'll, it'll show you all the different keystrokes right and that's it once again a plus e at the same time and we're off and uh, as before if you go back to zero it'll just roll along if you press D again you'll be in the locked mode okay so finally I'm gonna show you the quick startup procedure which is very easy um, and for those that you know are not willing to go through this procedure each and every time right welcome back so um, we'll be looking at the quick startup procedure now uh, we are in Lindau in Germany and um, we the plan is to drive to Austria so jump in by pressing 1 this time we don't need to bother with anything here control plus to change to the front and now all you have to do is uh, press control shift and Z all at the same time right so this will uh, start a software that will do everything we've done before by itself. You can just uh, sit back and enjoy watching all the levers being moved by itself. Now by default uh, all safety systems will always be switched on. So once the startup procedure is completed and you don't want that, you just need to turn around and pull the circuit breakers. And by default, the train will think it is in Austria. So if you want to drive in Switzerland with the correct pantograph, then all you need to do is change the software. So we already done. So that was quick. So we're in Germany, so I'm just going to do that quickly. Um, again, eight. 6 db enter and there we have that and since I'm a bit lazy I don't want that and I don't want that good and that's it we're ready to go once again A plus E at the same time and we're pulling away so as you can see uh, this can be as easy or as realistic as you like. Right, and that is the end of the first video. I hope uh, it's been useful and helpful, and uh, it'd be great to see you again in the next video. Until then, safe driving. Bye-bye.